Jordan Steele. Hello, boss. What are you doing here? I came to say goodbye. Scotch? Why not? You look well, Jordan. Prettier than ever. Surely you don't expect me to drink alone. Of course I don't. You were a good teacher, boss. If I wanted to kill you, I wouldn't be so obvious. Are you talking about murder? I don't know, are we? Cheers. After you, my love. God, I can swim. Don't worry, it's a premiere, it's not a posse. Flight school, riflery courses, a six-month internship with the New York Police Department. She won seven major awards for her first novel and once told Vanity Fair, I won't write what I can't do. And my pleasure to welcome, in her first public appearance in five years, the creator of Jordan Steele, the most popular action character since 007, our very own Daisy Lowendahl. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming tonight. Are there any questions? Right here. Uh, Tom Garrity, Fitchmark Gazette. Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, Jordan Steele's a pretty gutsy lady. Who's she based on? You? <laughs> I don't have her biceps. <laughs> but you were a competitive swimmer. Trust me, they're not that easy to keep up. Is that why you ended the series? Because you can't keep up? I ended the series because 18 years is long enough to do most things, except maybe marriage and flossing your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to move on. Uh, uh, move on to what? Um, I, I'd like to spend more time with my family. Oh, you have children? Um, no, I, actually, I have a West Highland Terrier. <laughs> well, it, that seems like enough most of the time. <laughs> a gerbil! Well, if that's all the questions... What about that guy? The one who drowned his wife? Tell the truth. That, that was a tragic incident. He said he was inspired by the character of Boss. 
You feel responsible? As I said, every story has a time and a place, and I'm ready to move on. You murdered her. Hey, shut up, Sudan, will ya? You know you did. Come on. Outside. I can see it in your face. You can't write films to get away. You're a murderer. You know it. It doesn't matter what you say. You know I'm not gonna get away with this. You murdered her. You'll pay. You murdered her. You'll pay. I need to sit down. You won't get away with it. Uh, thank you all for coming. Get a doctor. You have a bag. I can't breathe. Bag? Should I call your husband? I'm fine. Someone bring the car around for you. Lauren, get the door. I uh, hope you're feeling better. You, but, you know, if you're not up for the drive home, no, I'm, 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 you can I'm stay at our place really for the I'm, night. I'm, I'm I mean, Lauren wouldn't mind getting good sitting on the couch Mom. or something. But no, you wouldn't mind, would you, dear? She's got a... I just redid well, her room. thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, it's in Lilac. And it was nice to meet you. The floral border, but... Yeah. Okay, well, we really had a good time. I, I'm so pleased that you were able to do it for us. It's... I, okay. Bye. The agent said she'd be a little jumpy. I don't know, seems fine to me. Max? Maxie? Maxer? Max? Me. Ivy, how'd it go? Fine. It went, went fine. Well, it didn't. It didn't exactly go fine. There's something happened. There's some something 
wrong. All the lights are out at the house, and Max, he won't come out. I'm coming out. No. Please don't. Don't do that. I should certainly be able to spend one night on my own. Okay. Uh, just talk to me, okay? I, uh... I just need to hear the sound of your voice. I know. Tell me one of your jokes. Tell me that dopey one about the nun. Okay. What's black and white? Black and white? Black and white? <sighs> the nun rolling down a hill. You tell the worst jokes. <sighs> Mission accomplished. All right, try the lamp. Okay. The lamp doesn't work. Maybe the bulb can work. It's not the bulb. Did you try? Fine, just just wait. What do you know? It was the bulb. You did it. Good job, honey. It was great. Let's not get carried away, okay? I didn't wrestle a python, I turned on a lamp. Maxi! There was, um, there was somebody at the theater tonight, this crazy guy. You don't think it's him, do you? You know, that, that psycho letter writer? The one who said that he was waiting for me in the dark. Honey, the bulb was loose. You probably I, just... I didn't unscrew the bulb. This is me, remember? He hasn't touched his food. He hates it when you go away. Okay. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Well, he never eats, honey. You know that. Uh, Fine. I promise. I know, I know. Call me when you do. I will. I love you. I love you too. Robbie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, um, I just thought. You remember that gun? Remember that gun that you found when we bought the house? Maybe you should tell me where it is, okay? Just in case. We use our words, remember? I'm not psychotic. I have a phobia. What do you think I'm gonna do? Just run around shooting people? Daisy. Okay. I'll protect myself with positive thoughts. Maxie? Max? Max? Max! Max? Max, sir. Max? Maxi? Max? Max? Is is that you? Are are you hiding? <laughs> Understanding. Out. I, I never meant to come inside. Give it to me. No, please. 
Give it to I me. I was riding by. I saw the door to your deck was open. I'm just, I'm trying to help. Get out. Please, out. can you put that away? I, I wanted to make sure that you were okay. I said go. Um, uh, how do I do that exactly? I wouldn't hurt you. I promise. I, I'm an honor guard. Now, now, do you know what that means? I walk the little kids across the street. Now, they don't give you that job unless they really trust you, right? You don't believe me. Sure I do. I've read all your books three times. I, I know the dialogue by heart. That's really comforting. Harry Weaver, he's my father. Uh, South Beach Convenience, down by the fair. You come in sometimes with, with, with the, the, the dog, um, Max, right? My dad gives him cookies. I've seen you. Yeah, Weaver, uh, Spencer Weaver. Um, you can call if, if you want to, to check. Just go. It's okay. Just leave it. Uh, it's true, you know. Jordan Steele saved my life. And I, I know she's this big time bounty hunter but she started in a small town, like me. So, you know, maybe there's hope. You're bleeding. <sighs> wait. Just wait. Um, I I'm really sorry. I feel like a jerk. I can't imagine why. This isn't what I had in mind. I mean, it's just you spend your whole life admiring somebody and then you're in their living room. Triumph of impulse over reason. You, uh, you really freaked out. You're lucky it wasn't worse. You mean like before? Last year you checked into Mount Sinai, right? Exhaustion. How do you know that? Well, there's this uh, fan club that I kind of administer. Webmaster, actually. You know, keeper of the facts. Go ahead, ask. I think I'll pass. Born March 13th, Caribou Maine. Three older brothers. Your father was a meter reader for Northeast Gas. Your mother doesn't visit much. Called you sensitive in People Magazine. You've been reading a lot of self-help books lately. Facing fear, how to meditate. I just, uh, blew it, didn't I? You must think I'm a total psycho. Hiding in your closet, looking you up on the internet. I'm, I'm just a little tired. Well, thanks for stopping by. Um, no, there's something I need to say. I don't think you should. It's about your dog. Please. I think it's dead. I was riding by my bike, and I, I saw him down at the beach, kind of floating in the water. He never goes near the water. I'm sorry. I didn't really want to tell you. Max? 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 Someone must have been here. Shocking story from outside the South Beach convenience store near the ferry, where a man stopped for a cup of coffee, got his truck stolen, and wound up in an emergency room three hours later. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I come here every morning about five for, for some coffee. And later, wham! I get hit from behind, I guess. We're asking everyone to keep an eye open for a gray pickup with a pretty impressive amount of green maritime bumper stickers. It's a Ford. It's a Ford? Yeah. You need to leave. No, 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 okay, wait, wait. This has nothing to do with me, okay? I've never done anything bad in my life, not, not once. Okay, once. Um, I, I bought cigarettes with my lunch money, but, but I, I couldn't smoke them, they made me sick. Anyone 
on there? Wait. Hello? I'm coming! Hello. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. Who is it? Eddie Bruno, Detective Sergeant, State Police. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. I was just getting off work when I got a phone call from your husband asking if somebody uh, could stop by. Oh, thank you. There, there's somebody here. Yeah, well, I won't take up much time. He broke into my house. He's in the study. Speaking. I want you to come out now. You're going to count to three. One, two, three. Well, I'll be. I found him in the closet. You know who this is? He said he came in off the beach. This is Harry Weaver's son. Stephen, right? How he runs a mini mart down by the ferry. He broke into my house. Well, there's got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I mean, Harry's the nicest guy in the world. Helped me with immigration, said I was indispensable. So I could marry the missus. Stephen's an honor guard, right? Spencer. Yeah, well, they're good people, trust me, the whole family. Look, I, I don't know about... I'm sure they're very nice. But I think he did something to my dog. A West Highland Terrier, he was wearing a little vest. You know, it goes across the chest. With all due respect, ma'am, your husband did say that you're upset. Now, the boy's made a mistake. I say we just send him home. Mm. It, it's dead. I saw it out, out in the water. Let's check this pack. My pack? Yeah, you're in somebody else's house, son. And you weren't invited. Well, the door was open. Come on. Wait. Get the pack off. You're making a mistake. Get the pack off now. Pockets first. Come on. Okay, now the pack. This pocket. It's just, I mean, it's just junk. Uh, from school, you know. That's chummy. I was just riding by. Come on, now. Smoking class, do you? Next pocket. It's just, it's, it's a friend's. Just... What's this? Okay. Okay, look, this, this is not... It's a dog's vest. I, the, the, my fan club, I, you know, I thought they'd want a picture of me, like a souvenir. This, this is not what it looks like, okay? This, this is not what it looks like. All right? I, I, I found it. It was just, it was hanging by the door. So, okay, Miss Lauren, wait. Uh, I, I found it. It was by the door. It was hanging. I thought it'd be good for you. I think we better talk about that dog. I told you, I was riding by. I saw the door to the deck open. I was just gonna check. I, I... You were in the closet. I didn't want her to get the wrong idea. Well, the idea that you were breaking into a house. Right. Somebody broke in. You were just hiding. Look, there's a footprint by the window, right over there. Why'd you kill the dog? I didn't kill the dog. Just like you didn't break in? I should do this downtown. No, I'm all right. Radio the station, get him to send somebody over. You're not going to leave him here. You want me to take him outside? No, I, I, did, I have an editor who's a fanatic about codes. 
victim alone with a suspect. When you're telling Cody is suspect has to be cuffed. Right. If you're nervous, I'm happy to take him. No, it's whatever you normally do is fine. Everybody's a cop. I'm really sorry. You know what? Don't talk. I'm not crazy. Well, whatever he's saying, I, I didn't do it. You don't know what my life is like. Actually, you do know what my life is like. You lived it. You know how important it is to have role models. We all need role models. I got locked out of the screening room. That's why I rode over. I didn't know what else to do. I've been waiting for this for two years. I've always done the right things. Always colored inside the lines. Nothing you can say is gonna make this better. Boss said it, not me. In your first book, Into a Girl, when Jordan went to work for him, he said, you don't wait, you take. The only way to win is to make up the rules. I want to be bold the way he was. The way you are. I'm not bold. You have to be to write a character like that, to put those words in his Listen mouth. Listen to me. Those words came from you. Boss was depraved. The only things he cared about were money and guns. Well, he was a bounty hunter. You started out bad and got worse. I wrote him because someone told me that's how you sell books. You don't mean that. He was no good. Not for Jordan, not for anyone. Why do you think I ended the series? So, I got the dog. What? Down the pound, West Highland Terrier, right? Came in an hour ago. Oh, thank God. No, no, that, that's impossible. They're driving him over. I saw it. You know what? I'm getting a little tired of your stories. You've upset this lady enough. What are you doing? Taking him to the station. Oh, no, no, jeez, please, don't do that. What happens there? We lock him up. No, no, you know my dad. He's gonna kill me. Is that absolutely necessary? They found Max. It was in your house. What if I don't press charges? If you don't press charges, I have to let him go. Let him, let him go. Your call. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're the nicest person I've ever met. I heard her say go. All right. So, I should check the house. Make sure he came alone. The house? Yeah, teenagers. They don't always. Would you like me to call somebody? No, thank you. What about your husband? Oh, God, no. If, if he found out what just happened, he'd go after that kid with a baseball bat. I'm just kidding. Yes, ma'am. Look, he, he didn't mean any harm. I, I think he just wanted some kind of connection. You said he was a good kid. Yeah, well, I got four kids myself. And they're always surprising me. Wife says I'm an easy target. Wait a minute. What? How did he get here? On a bike. I didn't see a bike. Nate Manning got his truck stolen this morning, straight out from under him. Saltwater fly fishing, 5 a.m. like he always does. He ducks in for a cup of coffee. Next minute he knows, he's lying in a parking lot, beaten to a pulp. People, they go off, don't they? And you don't always know why. What parking lot? South Beach Convenience.
Wouldn't be very smart, would it? Steal a truck where you work? Anybody could have done it. Someone off the ferry. The important thing is Max is fine. Most likely. Most likely? His name was right on his collar. He wasn't wearing a collar. It's not uncommon. Dog gets lost, collar falls off. It's never fallen off. I mean, not one time. How many Westies run away in a day? But we don't know. That's what you're saying, isn't it? We don't know for sure. Look, the door was open. He took advantage, having himself some kind of doggy time. What about the vest? He was wearing it when I left. He's a smart dog, but he can't get himself undressed. If he did something, we need to find him. You know his father. Let's not get carried away. Carried away? Well, you write things, excuse me for saying, but you imagine things, things that most normal people never even think about. Things that don't really happen. Something happened, detective. A half-crazed kid broke into my house, said my dog is dead, and even though you knew about that truck, you let him go. <laughs> You brush those teeth, no cheating, because when I get home, I'm gonna sneak in, I'm gonna sniff your breath to check. <laughs> Love you too. Wanted to see time fly. They're a handful, those three. I thought you said four. Well, the baby doesn't cause much problem. Spends most of its day in a basket. No, not for me. Anyway, Maggie says fine. She says I can stay here until the people from the pound get here. Stay all night if you like. Thank you. You don't, you don't seem like a cop. No? Well, the kind I write, they, they have sort of an edge. You and the wife. She thinks I'm too nice. Ought to quit. I'm not so nice, really. It's the accent kind of takes them in. Um... Listen, I, I'd, I'd like to apologize. What for? I got a little wound up. Everybody has their bad days. Yeah, I've had a few bad years. How long have you lived here? My oldest boy is 13. You remember that man? Guy who said he was channeling boss. Drowned his wife. In the town fountain. People say things, especially guys like that, they don't want to take responsibility for their actions. Yeah, that's what I tried to tell myself when I found out it was his choice. And then I couldn't get in the pool. You are kidding. Just like that, one day, everything brave Jordan ever did turned into something I'm afraid of. Water, dark rooms, small spaces. The doctors said it's my subconscious trying to even the score. An eye for an eye. My life for hers. You have no idea what I'm talking about, right? Sure I do. I have fears. You? Your books, for one. My books? Can't read them. Neither can I. Do you write them? Well, they were my husband's idea. Your husband's idea? We met when I was very young. He kind of discovered me. Um, my, my first novels were not very successful. Well, my wife, excuse me for saying, but she is going to just die when I tell her. Daisy Lowendahl, afraid of her own books. Good. Daisy Good, that's my maiden name. I, um, I thought I would use it for the next one. You know, kind of a fresh start. No more bad guys. Yeah, right, something like that. 
good. Daisy good. It's good, I like it. Nothing. It can get pretty isolated here. Most people don't come until the summer. I used to like it. What say I warm us up? If you don't mind. I haven't had a drink in a while. A shot of courage. That's what my daddy used to say. Here we go. I better check. Must have been a skunk. You've changed your mind. I, I know, I, I just... What? Your, your pants. Is that salt? I checked the beach. The beach? Before I radioed the station, the kid said he saw a dog. I didn't see a dog. Then it must be him at the pound. Must be. I'd better go get him. They're coming here, remember? Right. They won't be long. Right. Tell you what, I'll check outside one more time. <gasps> Please don't scream. Please. Listen, there's no point calling. It's going to take at least 10 minutes for anyone to get out here. And then it's too late. We have to go right now. Okay, I'm gonna take my hand away from your mouth. We're gonna walk out that door. There's no patrol car in the driveway. There's, there's no patrol car. Let's not jump at conclusions. Hello? We're in the country. Plenty of places to pop. <laughs> You'll have to shoot. <gasps> First rule of combat. Never load a gun you're not ready to use. Here. So 
toast. And he always reminds you how much you loved and that we're never gonna let you go away again. Ah, oh, how sweet. So touching. Never grows old. Where is he? Romeo. Oh, well, he went home. I don't believe you. Because he's such a good kid, right? Wouldn't leave you here all by yourself? Poor Daisy. People aren't so good. Not really. Not deep down. All I had to do was explain the situation. What situation? That it would take him 20 minutes to ride to the police. And when they got here, what would they find? The aftermath of a terrible crime. And Stephen's fingerprints everywhere. On the door, on the chair, and on this gun. Spencer. And no matter what he said to them, they wouldn't buy it. Because he's the one with all your books. He's the one with the web ring. Eddie Bruno is a fiction. And under the circumstances, the best thing he could do was go and hope that no one saw him come down that road. What, what do you want? You're the crime writer. You tell me. You're not a cop. Very good start. <laughs> you were hiding in here. You heard us talking. That's how you knew about Spencer. You turned on that video and went out that way. You don't have a wife. That's a shame, isn't it? I was getting to like her. And I love the baby. You stole that truck. Oh, my God. Max. Don't get excited. What are you doing? I told you I'd be waiting, didn't I? One dark night. The letters. Remember me, Daisy when you feel my hot breath on your cheek. Pretty good, isn't it? Think I'd make a writer? You're upset because of what happened to Boss. One of the few great men that lived for himself without apology. He's a character in a book. And a lot of people bought those books. And hundreds of thousands of people took comfort in your words, we trusted you. And you suck at us with a 60-year-old bottle of scotch laced with cyanide. I didn't sucker you. I don't even know who you are. You killed Boss. So I, I could write about real people. I just wanted to write about ordinary people taking care of each other. Did you get that from one of your tapes? I'm, I'm just saying that it won't get better if you shoot someone. How do you know? Maybe we like Boss because he's right. I don't drink. Just the one for Boss's sake. You must think I'm insane. You made up the game. Go ahead. I'm not going to play. Hi. Nobody's home. You know what to do. Honey, it's me. Uh, look, I know you're mad. Calling to grovel. I know how important this weekend was to you, and I treated you like a child. I keep the gun with the fishing tackle. I don't think you need it, and I don't think it's safe to take it out. But I respect your right to decide. You're gonna make it, Daisy. Because you're brave. A lot braver than you know. He'll call back.
any of your thoughts. You, you've got to uncuff me. I'm not kidding. I'm going to be sick. Oh, what now? No, please. I'm going to be sick. Bags. this feel free to check hurry up I'll take that drink now If it's a game, we both play. Bottoms up. I need ice. Just when we were beginning to trust each other. Stand up. Get up. How do you think that makes me feel?
Miss Lowendahl? Miss Lowendahl. Come out now. <laughs> Problem is, you can't hurt people, can you? Even if they're hurting you. <laughs> Daisy. That hurt. Daisy, don't be afraid. Game's over, Daisy. Let's not make this harder than we have to.
safe flares are dangerous. They could blind you, set you on fire. The problem is, I could hurt you, but I don't want to. I'm calling the police. You're supposed to fight back. Didn't anyone ever tell you that? It takes them five minutes to get here. If you don't fight back, you'll not survive. If you don't back off, he won't either. I was hired. You know, I will never, ever again wish I had a more dramatic life. So your life's a little boring. So what? You know, you, you work in a convenience store, hold on to a little false hope. No big deal. At least you're alive. I, I, I can't do this. We need to call the police. The phones are dead. He took the battery out of that one. He's not stupid. Okay. Okay. Um, that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll drive to the station. Wait, wait, where are you going? To get warm. Did you call? Uh, I, I, I thought I had a battery. It doesn't matter. Ah, we're going to the police. J 
Just give me a minute, okay? The guy's a psycho. Just give me a minute to think it through. Miss Londo, what happened out there? What did he say? You know what? I'm gonna try and wire the car. We'll drive to the station. Maybe you should check his hands. I don't know how well I did him up. I'd be careful of that. Someone might get hurt. Who are you? I told you. You told me a lie. Your husband gave me the keys. There's a lot of ways to get keys. It's not my gun. I found it in the tackle box, just like he told me. Who? Robbie. <sighs> I had it all worked out. You said you were coming here for the first time in many years on your own. And my job was to wind you up, get rid of the dog, drop a little something in the scotch, you pass out, and then I put that gun in your hand. Su suicide. But I'd shoot you anyway if you didn't have a drink. That was a backup plan, you know. Crazy letters, crazy fan. Why? I got the impression you needed money. We have money. You may have less than you think. I didn't want this job, I swear, on my life. I've got a wife and a kid. I'm trying to go straight. Give me a break. I was in trouble back home. A lawyer friend of his helped me get to the States and then he threatened to put me into the police if I didn't do the job. You don't have a wife, he doesn't have a wife. You wanna see his kids? There, there's his kids, no kids. You don't bring a picture of your family to a hit. Shut up. In the wallet, there's a card. Show the card. There's a number on the back of the card. It's a cell phone. It's your husband's. The guy's nuts. I want to see it. I was supposed to call when it was over. Then he'd come, and then he'd find the body. Anybody can get a phone number. You're all over the internet. Where you eat your breakfast, the name of your vet. Why would I carry it with me? How should I know? Give me the card. You're happily married. You've been married for 22 years. You tried to make a call, remember? When I was out, and then I hung up. That was the signal. If you don't believe me, you know, then just wait. He'll come over. He's in the city. He's on the Cape. He's staying with a friend, a judge, Martin somebody. Martin Hickler. He's bringing him over as a witness. I don't believe this. What did you do? Look, if they come here and they find me, then he's going to deny it. He's going to swear that he's never seen me in his life. And then he's going to call the police and I'm going to get locked up and he's going to get away with it. Uh, which means, and I just want to be really sure that I'm following you, the best thing to do would be to let you go. Didn't I send you home? We're going to take him to the station, okay? Miss Lorindo. Miss Lorindo. The water. Water. Okay. Okay, hold on. Ah, here. No. The water. You drugged her. This comes as a surprise. All right, all right. We're going to get you to the hospital. Come on. No. Slow down, Tonto. You could die. And if she does, who takes the fall? Let's think about it. I mean, one of us is tied up. The other one has his fingerprints all over the bottle. Who could it be? I'm not going to the hospital. If I were you, I'd untie me and then I'd leave. Oh, stop it. Just stop. I'm not going to die. Forever the optimist. The plan was to shoot me. It's tranquilizers, not science. Obviously, you don't read the warning labels. You obviously don't 
know how many pills it takes me to get to sleep. Show her the note, the one you got from the truck. You wrote it last year, when you took those pills. No, don't, don't listen to him. It's just, it's just more games. Robbie kept it. He gave it to me last weekend. He told me to put it by your bed. You want to hear what it said? No. Wait, wait a minute. The note, the one I found in the truck. I, I thought I recognized it. Uh, it's from your book, Last Girl Standing. Uh, Jordan tried to kill herself when, when Bosch shot the pawnbroker. She wrote a note. It said, too dark, can't find my way out, forgive me. It's from your book. You got it word for word, it's exactly the same. Jordan wrote that note a year before you wrote yours, didn't she? You've known all along. It's a book. It's more than a book. Shut up. What are you so afraid of? It's not the, the dark, it's not the small spaces. You broke into my house. Okay, okay, you should probably put that down. What is it you're afraid of? You went through my things. Why did Jordan kill Boss? You, you drowned my dog. Because Boss was depraved. And if Jordan didn't kill Boss, then Boss would kill her. Just like Robbie. <sighs> I got an idea. Let's let's tell the police. We can tell the police. You can shoot, but it won't change things. people who pay good money to kill someone. How do you get up every day, if that's how you think? You make it a game. And are you all right? I met your friend. My friend? My God, there was somebody. What did he do? Did he hurt you? Why did you come? Daisy. Sir, um, he, he drugged her. Shut up. Who the hell is he? I asked you a question. For Christ's sake, Daisy. You didn't answer the phone. I've been calling all night. How'd you get here so fast? What are you talking about? It's at least four hours from the city. I wasn't in the city. I was on the Cape with Marty Hickler. Remember, I told you I was going to stay there so I could be close by. If he's here, you should bring him inside. He isn't here. He's at his house. There's nobody out there. No witness. Nobody came. Did he give you something? What have you taken? How many rounds does this hold? Six. Oh, God. That gives you one in six chances. Daisy, please. That, that means he was, he was lying about bringing the judge. He made it up. Who the hell are these people? That's the guy that's been writing the letters. What? He told her you hired him to kill your wife. That's enough. And you believe them? 
some psycho breaks into our house and you, you just accept everything he has to say? Look, you're frightened. You've probably been drugged. Don't move. Honey, it's me, Robbie. That makes it one in five. This is what you wanted, isn't it? I won't shoot. All you have to do is tell me the truth. Okay. Have you ever thought about killing me? Oh, Daisy, Jesus. Must have been so hard, huh? Playing nursemaid 24 hours a day. No, no. Paper bags and little notes and motivational tapes for every occasion. Daisy, don't make me do this. We were joined at the hip. Beepers, cell phones. You couldn't go two minutes without making sure I was okay. 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 It was hard. Is that what you want to hear? But you never thought about killing me. Listen to what you're saying. He knew everything about us. What time I was coming, where you kept the gun. He got rid of the bags. How did he know about the bags? I don't know. You saw the letters. People with obsessions have free time and powerful minds. You don't know him? No. You've never seen him before? No. Wait a minute. At the coffee shop around the corner. He's at the counter sometimes when we get breakfast. Look, you don't have to trust me. Let's just call the police. Yeah, well, let them sort it out. Daisy, what happened just then? Where'd you go? I, you know what I keep thinking about? I keep thinking about that day that you brought me home from the hospital. Do you remember? Oh, this isn't the time to go into For that. the first time in years, I was... I was perfectly clear. I said, these books are killing me. I've got to stop writing them. W what did you say? I don't remember. Not a good idea. I'd already taken the advance on the next book. I said, let's give it back. You didn't have it, did you? Is that why you hired him? Is you're not thinking straight. Oh, you mean I'm crazy? No, I didn't say that. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be the first. I never wanted to write those books. Well, you sure as hell wanted a career. You wanted the career. I was everything. I, I was your paycheck. I was your reputation. This is crazy. Why'd you hire him? I don't know what you're talking about. One in four. No more books. No more money. You, you must have been so frightened. Baby, listen to me. I don't call me baby. Do, do you have to hate the person in order to do it, or, or did you never love them in the first place? I always loved you. And who left? Boss was your brainchild. You must have been so angry. What do you want from me? I want the truth. Daisy, I swear to you. All right, I was angry. Why wouldn't I be? All those years, all that work, you just threw it away. But you could make a fortune, couldn't you? If you controlled the estate. Time's up. Daisy, you can't make it on your own. You can't go to the bathroom without somebody holding your hand. People change.
last chance. I hire him. Never load a gun you're not ready to use. Try the coffee canister in the kitchen. Get them. All right. Load the gun. Very carefully. Hand it over. this up any worse? I told you, no guarantees. I told you you weren't going home till it was over. Get rid of them. What, two for the price of one now, is it? And no way off the island, and a star witness. Just outside. Well, you don't have a choice, do you? <laughs> Everyone has choices, mate. Didn't you hear the tapes? Want a shooter? You better do it. Hello? Well, he'd, he'd have to shoot you too. Yeah, probably. And that bloke outside. I guess counseling is out of the question. Let's well, start with divorce. 50-50, down the middle. Divorce? Everybody walks away, nobody gets hurt. Always thinking outside the box. That's my guy. You got a better idea? How about jail? <laughs> Has a certain predictability, don't you think? Call me old-fashioned, but I like the idea of ending with the police. So what are you gonna tell him? That I hired this guy to kill you? I'm not gonna back that story. I have a witness. So do I. Mine's a judge. stay here by yourself, are you? Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna leave the island and stay at a nice hotel. Well, I could leave one of my men. Thanks, I, I already tried that. Good night. Thank you.
I'm sorry if I was right. You were right about Robbie. Still believe the world can be kind. All right, come on. Let's go. Good luck with those books, Daisy. Daisy, good. sure you were all right. I'm okay. What would she say right now? Jordan Steele. Jordan's retired. Yeah. I don't blame her. Spencer, she'd say you did great tonight. 